Kevin Raber here, and I'm at the Indianapolis RV and Camper Show. And I thought this would be a good place to come and test out this baby. This is the Light 16. I waited almost two years to get this camera. Prepaid at $1,600, it's now about $1,900. And this is supposed to be a DSLR killer, believe it or not. It makes a 52 megapixel file, and it does that by shooting with any one of 10 of 16 lenses, depending on how you zoom in. It works off an Android-based operating system, so it's rather slow turning on. So we're gonna push the button, and I'm gonna wait. So this isn't the camera you just wanna pull out of your pocket and take a picture, unless you're gonna keep it going all the time, and then you've got a problem with a battery. And while we're waiting for it to boot up, let's talk about that. It's a sealed camera. There's two buttons, everything else is touch screen. There's no access to the battery. There's no access to a storage card. So you're limited to the battery power you have here and the storage that's internal. If this battery dies, I'm gonna get a hot dog and just say quits for the day. Now you can use this in auto mode or manual mode. So I'm going to set this up to be automatic. When I auto focus and it turns blue, I'm set to go. Or if I just wanna actually shoot the picture from the back of the camera, it works great too. There is no way to change battery. There's no way to change storage. There's no image stabilization. And at this point, there's no video. Anyway, let's take a walk around this cool RV show. We'll see how it does in this mixed lighting and uh, share it with you. want to be an astronaut. Looks like an old milk truck, doesn't it? <laughs> wow. Kind of hard to do a vertical. I don't know, you know, in a DSLR, you feel like you have something to grip a hold of. With the fact that there's no front grip here, you know, my big beefy hands don't fit very well here as it is, so... It's very hard. Thought I would just take this moment to uh, sit down and review what I'm shooting. Now, I'm looking at only one JPEG created from one of the 10 lenses doing this. So the, the secret is, if you like an image, you need to start and actually try to process the image. And it's processing, as you can see right here. And you gotta wait for it. And combines them together to give you a higher definition image. So I can now zoom in and take a closer look at my, my picture. Also, if you notice here, we have, looks like a, a future button that's not really implemented. To me, it would look like it'd be a great place to put a zoom button, but everything is, you know, touch screen. And I'm not big on touch screen. So far, I don't know. Let's keep going. I'm getting into this. I'm gonna zoom in. Wow. There's a lot of things missing for $1,900. Oh, wow! Sorry. <laughs> what photographer hasn't thought of a life on the road? I'm getting into this show. Don't know whether I'm getting into this, though. And I just shot three pictures, and now I have to wait for those three pictures to get through. We'll shoot again. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that my initial push on the button, uh, which I most likely will move the camera, hopefully the second two shots might be a little steadier, seeing how the shutter is already activating and uh, not so much from the, the push. Definitely different. I always like 189 ISO. So up here we have the amount of exposures that are left. Battery, which is at 92%. We're not doing any exposure compensation. Right now it's set for 178 ISO at a 60th of a second at 28 millimeters. So it gives you your settings at the left. You can also pick this here, this button down here. So I'm at metering mode. Now I can do touch weighted, which is a new word in photography, touch weighted. Essentially that means it'll weight itself for the metering based upon where I touch on the screen. But because I'm an old center weighted guy, 
uh, I'm going to just select center weighted for my metering and we'll just go back and put that. Now we can see center weighted, flash on automatic, three exposures, and then we have our other data up here. This button up here gives me my exposure compensation and I can just slide up and down. You can see the picture getting lighter or darker. One of the things that I can't find on here, which I really depend on for my photography, so it's another nick on the list, is a histogram. Like, why would anybody build a camera these days without putting a histogram on it? What camera today doesn't have a histogram, for God's sakes? Here's the light uh, camera I just shot uh, that image with. And here's the iPhone image. Uh, the light at 28 millimeters seems to be the same as the default for the iPhone. So you can see they're pretty identical in, in their exposures. But you can see the difference in the thickness. You know, the screen size, the feel's about the same. I suppose the big question really is, and specifically, I mean, obviously this is putting out a big megapixel file, but do I need a big megapixel file from a camera like this? Or will my camera as an iPhone be just fine for this kind of thing? Thanks for hanging with me today at the Indianapolis RV and Camper Show. And thanks for hanging with me when I used this beast. And it's a shame. I have to actually call it a beast, not a beauty. This is a camera that feels like it's under development still. I've seen better executable cameras 10 years ago. I waited two years almost to get this camera. I spent $1,600, thought I was gonna get something really cool. And after using it, it's probably gonna go on a shelf. There's no histogram. There's no way to change a battery. If the camera dies and you're out in the field on a backpacking trip or a camping trip, you're done. Basically, it's a brick. There's no way to change storage and pull a card out. You have to hook it up to the software via USB cable. I wanted to like this. I wanted to like it bad. But frankly, and I don't say this too often, especially in the last few years, because as I said, cameras have been so good. This baby falls flat on its face. Save your $1,900, either wait for this to take a new step forward or invest it in one of the other cameras today that will give you the kind of results that you expect.